Hey, welcome back to Facilitation Friday. I'm Kalani Das, your host and teacher. And in this session, I want to help you come up with a plan to become a better rhythmist, uh, to dig deeper into the art of rhythm and drumming and percussion. Because I teach a lot of people all over, a lot of music educators, music therapists, music facilitators, recreational musicians. And I've come to the conclusion that, that everybody likes percussion, people like to do drumming, uh, but a lot of you, and I'm saying you, because I've already done this, but a lot of you haven't put in the, the time that is really required to get to a point where you can play what you want to play. And I understand we're all busy, but I want to help you by helping you come up with a plan to get there. We all know that, you know, we have to practice, we have to put in some time, but that relates to habits, right? Habits, forming some practice habits so that you, you can reach your goal. So I want to give you a very simple plan right now and the rationale for doing the plan, which is if you want to get, you know, to where you can play things, um, first of all, let's agree that the instrument is not the thing that makes the music, right? In all music, basically, the instrument is just a device. It's a machine or some sort of contraption that basically amplifies our actions. And a drum is a perfect example of that. A drum is basically a giant speaker. It makes sound the same way a speaker makes, right? It's a vibrating membrane. And of course, a speaker is a lot, there's a lot more frequencies going on. Um, but a drum is basically an amplification tool, right? It's just amplifying my movements. And when I move differently, I can produce different sounds. But at the very basic level, an instrument is amplifying and making audible, you know, that which is barely audible, right? If you even think about a saxophone or a flute or a trumpet, trumpet players can still buzz with their lips. They don't need a trumpet to make a buzzing sound, but the trumpet takes that sound and amplifies it. And then with the keys, um, is that what they're called? <laughs> keys, yeah, I think so. Trumpet keys. Um, I mean, have somebody comment, but they're not called keys. They're called uh, valves. Yeah, valves, that's what they are. Um, doesn't matter. Through the manipulation of these other, you know, components on the instrument, we can change the sounds and, and really dial some sounds in and make it beautiful. The point is, Who's the drum? You are the drum. Like Baba Tunde Olatunji said, I am the drum, you are the drum, we are the drum, right? So you need to work on this. You need to work on your body percussion, your, your, your own sense of timing and rhythm. And that's the good news because you don't actually have to practice with your instrument. You can do a lot of practicing away from your instrument, not bothering anybody, not making a lot of sound, and so here's the thing, that's, okay, that's one part. The second part is, when are you gonna do it and for how long and how is that gonna get you to your goal? So if your goal is to improve your drumming, one of the ways you can do that is to practice rhythms, practice your timing, because that's you know where most people kind of fall short. A lot of people can get those basic sounds, but then it's organizing those sounds into something that sounds like a, a groove or rhythms. Uh, where people, I think, don't put in enough time. So they, they just sort of hit a wall, and even though they might have good sounds, you're not able to apply the sounds in the way that is gratifying or satisfying. So here's what I would invite you to do, is just spend about 20 minutes a day uh, doing something like I just did. Like, you know, get a beat. You can do this to music or just uh, to a metronome or something, and do some stepping. Maybe you can do this on a walk. I call this going on a rhythm walk. You can do this, and I've talked about this before. I did a video on how to develop your rhythm. This is related to that. But I would say, do a little stepping, you know, put on some music you like, or put on some earbuds and go for a walk. And while you're doing that, uh, practice syncopation. And challenge yourself to develop a little bit you know, rhythmically, do some polyrhythms, you know, some triplets, uh, upbeats. Uh, 
all kinds of little rhythmic goodies and mix it up. Keep developing that and just do that, if you can, 20 minutes a day. If you do 20 minutes a day for a year, which is easy, uh, you'll have done about 100 something hours, you know, around 100 hours in a year. And I think if you put in 100 hours of practice, um, you'll make good progress. And a year goes by pretty quickly, right? The year can go by pretty quickly. So I'm just gonna throw this out to you. Should we call it the 20 minute a day challenge? I don't know, 100 hour challenge? I don't really care what we call it. Put your suggestions for what to call it in the comments and we can do it together, all right? So the message today is if you want to improve your drumming skills, put in 20 minutes a day, do some fun rhythmic stuff, and then you'll have done over 100 hours, right, in a year. Uh, you can just do weekdays. You still, you might need to do a little more than 20 to reach 100 hours, but do about 100 hours of, of practice, rhythmic practice, and I think in a year, you'll be way down the road, much farther towards your goal, all right? That's what I got for you guys. I hope this is helpful. If you have any other tips or suggestions, advice for our World Drum Club community, leave it in the comments. Get your World Drum Club t-shirts by clicking some of the links below. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Visit us at patreon.com slash Kalani. I'm Kalani Das. Thanks for watching. Go practice.